A few days ago, a new Hunter map has been announced and a trailer for it released on the Map Creator Animatics YouTube channel. The map has been in the makings for quite a while now, as Animatic has told me. He originally started working on it in 2016 and released it first in 2018. He wasn't quite happy with how it turned out, so he started picking up on it again in 2019 and finally finished it in 2021 last month. Kuwait introduces a mixture of elements from the Russia, Elva and Yukon map. All together form a new and unfamiliar landscape that would surely be a challenge for time-tested survivors. It features as much as 200 unique quests, countless new items, guns and vehicles. He also told me that if everything goes well, he is planning on adding more content to the map every two weeks. While this map will not be an official map and unturned, it will be curated, which means that everyone will have the map installed by default, at least for now. Unturned developer Nelson also added 7 new achievements, with two of them being secret. But without further ado, I will now show you the trailer that has been posted on Animatic's YouTube channel. Thanks to him again for letting me use this in this video. The map is set to release this Friday, which is going to be May 14. I will now break down the trailer scene for scene and point out some mentionable things that we can already see. In the first shot, we can see that the map is very open, with the only cover being big boulders every now and then. In the distance, we can see oil pumps and some sort of mine, at least it's going down somewhere. And to the left, some fire. It looks like the majority, if not all of the trees on this map are going to be palm trees. In the next one, we can see a sign which says Diesel's Drilling, which is a reference to Diesel, one of the people that was helping with the map. The two towers we can see here are popular landmarks in Kuwait. The left tower is the Al Hamra Tower, which is a skyscraper located in the capital of Kuwait, Kuwait City. The right one is the Liberation Tower, which in real life is a 372 meter high telecommunication tower also located in Kuwait City. Both of those towers can give us an idea of this being Kuwait City, the biggest and most important location on the map. In the third shot we can see some sort of pillars with glowing red hieroglyphs on them. There are also some flying rocks, which makes me assume that there will be some sort of energy element to the map. Like France had the ruler, laser gun stuff, there might be some sort of futuristic endgame stuff going on here. It overall is a pretty plain area and looks almost like some sort of arena, which reminds me of the Elva Horde Beacon Ghost Valley area. The fourth shot reminds me a lot like one of the most baddest games ever to exist, Payday. Two guys breaching into a bank vault. To the side we can see a jam drill, which can either be a usable item in the game, or just a prop and a reference to Payday's drill that you usually have to restart every 10 seconds. So annoying. It also looks like there won't be any any custom explosives or detonator, the vanilla one will be used. The left guy is also holding which seems to me like a new gun. I'm European and therefore not a gun expert, but some of you might get an idea on what this gun could be. Leave your guess in the comments below if you know anything. This shot is covering the dudes in the vault right after they breached into it and we can see money laying around. This hints us that there will be vendors like NPCs that can sell and buy items for money you can find around the map. Since we are not in North America but in the Middle East Emirate Kuwait, we can expect the currency of the map to be Kuwaiti dinars. The vault will most likely respawn again after a certain time so that the bank heist like this could be a good way to make money on the map. In that shot, we see a huge oil field with those towers spitting out fire. Some buildings are surrounded by all the pipes. Those will probably contain construction items, such as building items or stuff like generators, lamps, and so on. In the next shot, we see that the map includes some water. This is a lake with close shot on one of the palm trees. We can also see that this one is growing dates, which makes it a date palm. So we can expect to get fruit from chopping down these specific palms. In this shot, we can see a caracal, which is a medium-sized wildcat that is native to the Middle East amongst a few 
other parts of the world. One of the new achievements is called Feline Friends, which might be obtainable by feeding one of those wildcats. I'm not sure if you will be able to tame those mobs, as something like that never existed in Unturned, and I would be really surprised if it actually is like that. But then again, that is just huge speculation, and I really hope it's going to be like that. This shot will give us a closer look on some of the new clothing, including three new backpacks, headwear that we know from the Middle East countries, and also coalition gear. The coalition armor and the fact that the map features 200 quests can make us certain that there's going to be a safe zone again. This safe zone will then also feature NPCs to not only accept and finish quests, but also trade with money you can obtain. We're also getting a look on more guns, one of them being this pistol that has a red dot attached to it. I personally am a big fan of attaching sights on pistols in video games and it makes the gun look cool. And I mean, the better the gun looks, the better it performs, right? To the right we see an assault rifle that seems to have a barrel attached to it. I personally think that it looks a lot like the M16, but then again, I don't sleep with a whole arsenal of guns under my pillow. And last but not least, we can also see one of the new vehicles. This one seems to be more of the common ones. But from that shot, we can tell that this car also includes a trunk backseat or something, and that headlamps are indeed obtainable on the map. People would maybe think that we can't really tell anything based on this shot, but I'm pretty sure that it hints us better vehicle physics. We know that Elva already had better ones than Vanilla, and Kuwait maybe has even better ones than Elva. If you would try that stunt out on Washington, the car would flip around its own axis 100 times until you finally get stuck. This shot shows one of the new implementations of the game. Nelson added a support for custom weather conditions not too long ago, and this sandstorm we see here is probably the first major one that we see live in action. That shot shows us one of the locations including a big water tower in the middle. We can see that it does look very empty and plain and some of the buildings are collapsed. You can see that there's still some room between ceiling and floor which can mean that you can still enter them by crawling inside. In that shot we get a first close look on yet another new gun. For this one I went ahead and asked the creator of the map and he said it's called the Mahdi AK which is basically the Egyptian version of the Russian AK. And something else we can get from this picture is a closer look on one of the new sites. The next shot features yet another location, this time it is again very small and plain but sadly nothing else we can get from it. Shot 16 gives us a closer look on sports cars that even have neon lighting and spoilers. Those might be the fastest cars Kuwait offers as we saw they also accelerate really damn fast. To the left we can see some parts of a town and in the distance to the right we can see an island. The island does have some buildings and palms on it so this could possibly be the safe zone. The last shot is definitely my favorite one. Just like on Elva, Kuwait also comes with plenty custom structure looks. The first one is going to be the wooden structure, which doesn't seem that good as you can pretty much see inside the base through these walls. Also worth to mention is that there's a shark laying on the table in front of that base. One of the new achievements will be to fish one of those by the looks of it. The second base is made out of brick. We can see that it does feature decorational items like plants and furniture and even a hammock. Third base has a big purple dinosaur in the back of it. This will not be a real dinosaur probably as one of the other achievements are to craft some cute decor, the dinosaur statue being one of them by the looks of the picture. Something a little hard to spot but still in the shot appears to be a plane that is on the roof of the base, which confirms aircraft on the new map. The fire that the campfire produces to the right by the way is also way bigger than the vanilla one will ever be. And that's it with my Kuwait trailer analysis. I hope I didn't forget to mention any important details. If I did, make sure to let me know in the comments below. Like I said before, the map releases on Friday, May 14th. And I can't wait to make informational videos on the new map, but also gameplay and of course rating ones. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe not to miss out on more Unturned videos in the future. I'm Panda or P9 and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.